Hi guys, in this uh, video we are going to see what is the process flow to add a schema using the use schema plugin. There are four steps to the process. First is the configuration. So first of all we need to prepare our schema items using a special custom post type that we have uh, created uh, for this plugin and we shall add different schema types like local business or recipes or software application so there are about 800 plus schema items uh, that can be added using this plugin after that we shall assign the selected or created uh, these schema items uh, to our existing custom post types or simple post or pages or even taxonomies as well we can even interlink these schema items in the third step we shall input the data for our a created or configured schema item so we shall essentially add some property values upload images or sign taxonomies or, or do the stuff according to the configurations that we have made and as a final step we shall test we shall test whatever schema we have added we can use google schema tester and there's a chrome extension as well we can even use yahoo or other testing tools are also available from yandex or bing or other search engines as well before diving into the admin section, let's see what we are going to add. So uh, this is uh, Google guidelines for adding a product. And uh, these are some of the guidelines as provided by Google, like uh, what are the property values, properties and the expected value are required for the product as well. So when a product is searched using a Google search engine, then there is a small card uh, that provides a very important information about the product, like its price and its rating. Similarly, if we search for any recipe, then uh, we can get what is its cook time and the calories that this recipe uh, provides. Similarly, Google provides uh, different guidelines about the different properties and their expected values as well. If we search for a software application, like if you see there are a lot of lists that is available on this guideline that is provided by Google. So for instance, this Google Earth app, if we search for it, it provides a rating, its price and its platform. To give you a real life example, if we search for a plugin, that is a plugin that is created by us. So if we search for it, uh, it's linked to the wordpress.org repo. And then there is an information about its rating its total number of words and its price as well. And we have also have a small description about this particular plugin. So if we follow this link, and let's test this schema for this page. By the way, this is a Chrome extension that you can add. Uh, it's called Structured Data Testing Tool, and it will open up that particular address in the Google Structured Data Testing Tool as well. So there is a schema that is added for software application and if we click on it, it provides all the necessary information about this particular piece of software. So it provides its name, its description, its aggregate rating, it offers and then an operating system information is missing and as it is not added by wordpress.org for this particular plugin. So this is what we are going to add for our uh, test environment as well. So let's, if we go to the our dashboard for our demo setup, then let's go to uh, this first step. Let's create or configure the schema item. And for this particular example, I'm going to use Iron Man. There is no particular reason to use this as an example. I just uh, like him. So let's add a new schema item. And this schema item is going to be Iron Man. Uh, we can name it anything. It doesn't affect any of thing. So first of all, we need to select the schema type that we are going to add. And this is a schema type that we are going to add for Iron Man is a person. So we are going to add a schema for a person. So there is a quick link. If we click on it, it will take us to the schema.org person uh, page. And we can find all the information that schema.org has to offer. So let's just quickly add a simple properties let's add its name and for the uh, this example i will just write the iron man this property value is important we can name anything here like schema item but right over here the property value should uh, correspond to the property id that we are going to use it for let's add its url as well 
and for the URL if you notice that there is a field it says link existing and we can use all these options to link any existing data that we may have for instance we can link to existing meta for existing taxonomies or create field okay let's create a uh, for now let's uh, link it to the post URL so whatever post URL we use it will fetch the value of that particular post URL and use it uh, for this URL uh, we can name anything for instance let's just use name it label and for this it's just name I will go through all these settings uh, in detail in some other video but for now let's add these two only these two fields and let's publish this so our first step is complete now let's go to the settings and assign this iron man to a post type I will again go through these uh, settings as well but let's first only uh, for this particular example let's just assign it only so let's uh, add a default you can use default schema item or you can activate additional schema items well the difference is if you add it for default schema item it will be a default or pre-selected uh, for all the post type of the page for this pay, uh, example we are going to add it to the activate additional schema items and that's it let's just save it now let's create a new page and uh, let's add um, my iron man and let's just publish it we are not adding any information to this let's view the page and if we test schema for this uh, there will be nothing uh, because we haven't assigned anything to this schema items you see it's only h entry so if we just add it right over here there is a new meta box that is added using this plugin so let's select our Iron Man schema item that we have just assigned to this uh, page. So let's uh, just update. And that's it. Let's just reload. There is no change on the front end. But if we check schema or you can even use this schema tester button if we click on it. So a new schema is detected that is for person and its name is Iron Man and its URL is the same. It is automatically picked, uh, picked up by the plugin. So let's just quickly recap what we have done so far. First we have gone to this schema item and we have created a new schema and assigned a schema type of person for Iron Man schema item. So let's just add a quickly add a new field for that as well. So it's additional name. Uh, let's create a field for this and you will see the difference. And let's add additional name. And let's update. Right now what we have done is that we have linked it. For link existing we have selected create field. So right over here you see there is no new field. But if we reload the page, there is a new field uh, which is asking like we need to provide some information about Iron Man schema item and it's asking for its additional name. If we do not fill anything, there will be no change. But if we fill like its additional name is Tony Stark and let's update. After updating, let's reload the page. And let's test its schema one more time and in the person there is a new thing that's called additional name it and it's picking up its uh, value uh, that we have provided in the added screen mode so once again what we did is that we created a new schema and then we went to the settings page and we configured to use this schema for the pages now what is the difference if we go to the post and if I add new post if I click on it there is no result because we have not assigned this Iron Man to the post 
we have only assigned it to the pages so if we want to show this iron man foot posts as well so what we will do is that we will add iron man schema item to the post as well so let's just save this time if we reload its post edit screen and if we click on it now this schema item is available so this is what we have done in the second step in the third step we have just selected uh, the schema item for this particular page and we have filled in all the information that it is asking for us uh, for this particular schema item and finally we have tested whatever schema we have added to make sure it is working as expected so it's in the same way you can add as many schema item or as many schema types as you want if you just click on it and you scroll down these are all the schema items that are uh, offered by schema.org so i hope using this plugin uh, will create uh, some additional schema for your website and it will eventually bring you some more uh, click through rates and increase your overall seo so stay tuned for the next videos thank you for watching and have a nice time bye